Hey, this is Ralph, and in this video I want to use the XLOOKUP function in Excel in order to display the appropriate letter grade for each student based on my table array. So starting off, my table array has numeric scores from uh, smallest to largest, showing the minimum value necessary in order to get a particular letter grade. Then I have my mock list of students here that all have a numeric grade, and I want to convert that or display a corresponding letter grade. So, I'm going to work here in cell G2 and equals XLOOKUP. The XLOOKUP function is a new version and replaces the old VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP functions. We can use the same one for both. So the lookup value is going to be the student's numeric score. So in my example, I'm going to look at F2. The lookup array is going to be the table array or the cell range of the numeric scores. So for my example, it's A2 through A10. I'm going to be using that exact same array for multiple students. So I'm going to press my F4 key on Windows to make that an absolute range, comma. My return array, I'm going to select B2 through B10, F4 to make that absolute, comma, now we have a few new options here. Actually, even this is a little different. The old VLOOKUP and HLOOKUP, you would select one range that it would include the return and the lookups all together. But now, I have these optional um, parameters here. If not found, match mode, and search mode. I'm going to not choose any of those first, and let's see what happens. Okay, we get an NA, and we get a few correct results. The only correct results I'm getting are for students that have a numeric score that's literally in my table. So the 80, the 93, the 80, the 73. So it looks like we can safely assume here that XLOOKUP defaults to an exact match, and that's not going to be what I want. Now I want to bypass the if not found argument. So when I type a comma, the next argument that I would put in is if not found. I'm going to type another comma to go right past that into match mode. And what I'm going to do is type in a negative 1 as a value. So basically with match mode you can have nothing which is the same as uh, 0. Uh, you could have negative 1 as I'm going to try which I think is going to be pretty successful. You can have a 1 or 2 in here. So with negative 1, it is going to look for an exact match. Let's go ahead and produce this. However, if the exact match isn't found, it's going to move up to the next smaller item. So the student that had a 50, since that's not available, the next smaller item would get it to this um, F result. Now let's compare that to something I'm sure students would like. Instead of negative 1, I'll put in a positive 1. And with this one, that score 50, it's not an exact match, but with a positive 1 argument, it moves up to the next larger item. So it's bypassing that F and moving on to the D for 50. And we can see that here again with 68. 68 is not an exact match, so it's moving up to the next larger item of a C for, the, for 73 there. So clearly, all the students might like that one value. I'm going to go back to a negative one, which is more appropriate. So with the XLOOKUP function in this scenario, the student's grade that I'm looking up, the array of the lookup values, the array of the return values, which is what I want displayed, and then I do a comma to bypass the if not found argument and then a negative one for the match mode, so that way it's exact match, but will move up, assuming that exact match doesn't exist. Thanks for hanging out with me.